You wanna know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the way this big budget video game. They sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. But just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies, even though I never actually played it. I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. What? I don't know, man. <laughs> Why would that make you hate video games? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! It's me, you can hear that. Yeah. Okay, give me a moment. <laughs> Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday, assuming he's not there before me like he normally is. I mean, well, like they said yesterday, he stopped coming. Yeah, but he also changed a lot last night, so who knows? And we don't stop coming, 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 and we don't stop coming. Ah, here we go. Ew. Ew. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. Bath. Bathe with me. No! I'm not reading that. <laughs> Ifumi, mm -hmm. what's going on? Makoto, save me! I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? <laughs> She's trying to kill me! She's trying to make me bathe! If whom we pointed at, Kyoko Kirigiri. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? There's... I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Yeah, okay, so I'm taking Alter Ego to my room. None of you fuckers are allowed to touch this thing. I really don't trust half of you people. <laughs> And I trust most of them. I just don't trust Hifumi. I don't trust Hifumi. I don't <laughs> trust Let's Not Try to Abuse It for Calculations. And I don't trust fucking Yakia or Toko. So. What, 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 what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> not reading that. I'm not going to kill you, merely instruct you. Oh, very sad. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Oh, there she is. I was like, where the hell is Iowi? Mm. Oh. Groping the laptop and breathing all creepily on it? Seriously, what were you doing? Honestly. I have an idea what he was getting up to, but... Ugh, just ridiculous. I see. Whatever it was, I can't help but be suspicious. Eh. Um, Fumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, well I was just... I was just talking! However. Which was prohibit... Which was prohibited, was it not? I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... That I hate the cold-blooded killing machines of the Underworld would ever fall in love, that's... Wait, no way, is this love? According to the spirits... How about that? 
Shut up, she's not American. She's an angel. I feel as if... And don't bother telling me angels exist, or we can't be defined by your petty words. Uh, yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master once more. But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff, I saw she was had a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say... It was the first time I, I was ever to talk like that with a normal girl. Uh, but she's definitely not a normal girl. And the fact that she was originally a guy is now an AI program. What? Even what we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff. She wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no, this isn't Your a Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> Did you get very far? Tell me more, tell me more. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose... That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. <laughs> it's like... That's why when I was... I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you've misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. That. I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or...? You gotta be frickin' kidding me! You. Hey, you jerks, I'm sitting here listening to you giant guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. Yo. Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the heck? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo, so I Kiondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your pi tailpipe. What? What? <laughs> Nani. <laughs> What's happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well, then. So because of what Alter Ego said to him... Uh are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. What are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Hifumi. Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... Bro belongs to me. Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let him uh, anyone else have him again. Fudge an idiot. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say it's right now. That's it. I'm sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her together in the guardian knot of true love. Well, me and him have meddled friendship in the white hot heat of friendship. Mowed together in the. whatever. <laughs> hey, come on. On you guys. More on talk down to me, and I'll ram my fist in all four of your vocal point vital points. Fucking hell, I can't read. <laughs> well, I punch to the speed of sound, and I don't have an arm hair, so there's no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. That's the same lighting that happened right before... Taka went Super yeah. Saiyan, yeah. So I'm just afraid she might go Super Saiyan and that might be terrifying. Because what if she fused with Aoi? <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to deal Hot. with that. <laughs> Can we fuck it? I'm sorry. Um... What? Anyway... Until Alter Ego has finished his his work, 
You okay? The accents are melding together. <laughs> Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? Clear. Clear. I can't hear you. I... That's British also. Yes. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Finally time for some free time. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? Free Celeste, time. what is up? Celeste, what is up? So this is a new day. I think she'll be in the school on, like, the third level or whatever. Don't remember. You can just teleport there. Oh yeah, I'm trying to remember what the buttons are. Is it to be fair, I never really teleported in the first game. Okay, that's what it is. Probably in the rec room. Typically. Yeah, there it is. You would have seen that one coming. Yeah. I feel like there should just be a like warp button, not just like go to a map and then do a warp function. I have grown entirely accustomed to life here. With enough time, any place can eventually come to feel like home. I'm showing out with Celeste for a while. Yeah, well, sure, why not, I suppose. By the way, the only other person that likes the love status ring is uh, Sayaka, so... Yeah. Uh, we don't need to worry about that anymore. I truly frighten myself to captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. Okay, rude. Bit. I spent some time with Celeste. <sighs> yes. So you want to give her the love status ring today? It's number 18. Well. So I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> hmm. The more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her, it makes me happy. <sighs> Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. What are you doing? <laughs> no matter how many times I hear it, I never tire of hearing my own name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Well... Why? I mean, is it from something? Why'd you pick it? <laughs> I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and father. Come on, that can't be your real name, can it? This is fine. It is indeed my real name. Make no mistake about that. Okay, so your parents gave you that name? Indeed. That's right. My father is French nobility and my mother is part of a German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. But okay, so you were born in France or Germany? Tochigi. Now we're getting somewhere. I was born in the capital of Tochigi, which is known for its delicious gyoza. Do you know of which city I speak? Capital of Tochigi is famous for its gyoza. Yes, I know all about Japan. I'm a master. Uh, it's obviously Ashikaga. Fucking go for it. I don't know. I have no idea. Does this matter? Uh, well, I think if you get it wrong, you just get to try again. So... I don't know whether you're telling me the truth is the problem. I'm pretty sure. Do it. Is it a uh, Chicago? Does it mean I'm wrong? Let's see. Uh, you must excuse me. I simply wasn't anticipating an answer like that. And el any elementary school child knows what the capital of Tochigi is, so naturally. It's the capital of Tochigi and it's famous yeah, for see, its gyoza. It so it wasn't a Chicago. It's an Omiya. That is correct. You have proven you are as roughly as intelligent as an elementary school student. Or a high schooler, maybe? Actually. 
You may be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore gyoza. Well, I have you know I've been playing Rune Factory recently and I just made gyoza. <laughs> I love its stench, its base vulgarity. So as you can imagine, I'm quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's gyoza again. Never say never, you know, once we get out of here. Is that okay? We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. Do you understand? If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Celeste's eerie words stuck with me longer than after she left. The more I talk to her, the more I just don't understand her. It's obvious she doesn't want to leave. You just unlock the skill raise. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. When you find monocoons, you'll now earn more than you can. Hell yeah. Hell. Once I was all finished, I headed back to my room. Does that affect the end of trial thing? I think so. Nice. I think so. Hopefully. I still have some time. Alright, let's go. Wait, since it is a new chapter, should I be interacting with things in the new area? Um, you can try. I don't really know. Okay, um, just to prove you right, yeah, everyone's here. But first things first, I need to go check out the third floor. Oh no, we've definitely been here. Never mind. We've already done this. Also, is 99 the max? What? Is 99 the max amount of coins you can have? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't remember. I'm just suspicious of exactly 99. Just a second, I can't allow this. I can't abide this. Um, we're going to the store real quick. Okay. So raise triples the mono coins you find during school life, which are the ones you find in the school, and you receive 10% more after class trials. Okay, nice. No, you can definitely get more than 100. More than 99. Well, yeah. Well, zero nine nine. Yeah. Um... Should I try this? 50-50 shot? I'm um, sure. Nope. Apparently, if you befriended Chihiro enough, you could get cheat code, which makes the time limit not decrease. Yeah, and you're to blame for that. Wait, time limit? Yeah. Which means that we could just keep hanging out with people? No, time limit in the trial. Remember how you have a oh, time yeah. limit? Yep. Although, that's really never a problem anyway, but... So, I think we got some new items. Ooh. There we go. Let's get going. Uh... Yes. Everyone was find Celeste. Celeste. She's in the kitchen. She's making herself some milk tea. Yeah, that sounds about right. I can't just not talk to them. Mm. I can almost feel the wind on my face. The key is not the will to win. Everybody has that. It's the will to prepare to win that's important. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous basketball coach Bobby Knight. Okay. So it's like we have to work hard, you know? Sorry, we're hanging out with a psychopath right now. God damn, that's rude. We're not. Fine. Where's Jack? I don't see Jack anywhere. Fine, sociopath. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, Makoto, should I tell you I've recently seen the shadow of death upon you? <laughs> That's just a little joke. <laughs> it would seem I'm growing used to your deplorable faith. This is another aspect of adaptation, I suppose. Adaption, not adaptation. Adapt. Okay. Despite her thinly veiled insults, I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I Cele grew closer. Okay, you want to give her the Zol diamonds today. <laughs> Interesting, the gods heard my prayer, my wish has been granted. Hmm, <laughs> this is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? Seems about so pleased something I gave her makes me happy. For me. Hello, Makoto. I must say, I'm quite troubled. Huh? How come? Indeed. I'd like you to teach me something. What? How to love? Actually. I want you to teach me how to play Shogi. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't know how to play either. I see. You really are useless, aren't you? Okay. But I'm surprised you don't know how to play. Is it because there's no, like, Shogi gambling circuit? Oh. Oh, there most certainly is. What, really? Indeed. But it is all underground. It's really ra- it, it is rather shady, all things considered. I've tried my own hand at it naturally. Wait, even though you don't know how to play? Are you okay with this? That is why I wish to learn now. I placed my pieces without even thinking. What on earth was I doing? You still tried to win an underground shogi tournament? Tried? Oh no, I did win. You won? I didn't really understand, but apparently my final opponent was infamously powerful. She was rather bod. She was a voluptuous woman who was dressed as an exotic French maid. Hot. Fair, but also, like, you have no right to talk. <laughs> but how did you win? Beginner's luck, perhaps. I don't think beginner's luck works in Shogi. Hmm, <laughs> is that so? Yep, the more I learn about Celeste, the less I understand her. The maximum number of skill points is increased. Hey, we'll get you go. So that means one more? I think so. Rolling from what Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Alright. Um, it is officially it. nighttime. <sighs> Hold on one sec. <clears throat> okay. School announcement. Huh? As such, it is officially nighttime. Apparently, Soon two more. The doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is was... strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.